just got back from Trader Joe's, so I want to show you what we got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the damage. I love Trader Joe's. <laughs> back to my channel today Matt and I went to Trader Joe's we got a ton of stuff it was like over $200 so I'm going to walk you through what we got and you guys want to see what we got from Trader Joe's then that's what you want to say with my hand up when I talk they just keep on watching say we brought our reusable bags but then they told us because of the coronavirus and sanitary reasons we can't use our reusable bags so that's why this looks like this right here there's <laughs> obviously no order because we just threw everything onto the table. You guys know nothing new here. We got three bags of cauliflower gnocchi, put it in the air fryer, 350 for 15 minutes, and then like two minutes at 380, and it's perfect. We also got these organic mango fruit bars. The only ingredients are mangoes, and they're just so good. They taste like the dried just mangoes in the bag, but these are like 99 cents. They're delicious. We got a bunch of salad stuff again this week. This cruciferous crunch. We've been making a lot of egg roll in a bowl, which is basically just sauteing this with some sesame oil. And you can put some protein in it, like chicken or whatever, basic shrimp, whatever you have left over. Then some coconut amino, some sriracha, and it's basically like a low carb egg roll in a bowl. Oh, we also scramble an egg in it as well. So good. We got this crispy salad kit. It's really delicious. And what we do is we where is it? We cut it with some mixed greens so it prolongs the salad. Because these kits only would feed us like one time if we just use the kit. But when we cut it with half of some darker leafy greens, not only do we get more nutrients, but it makes these last longer. Just more fruit bars, some cremini mushrooms. These are just some green bell peppers, some red bell peppers. You guys know what those look like. Oh, shallots, some jalapenos, some cuties. We've been flying through cuties, so they're a great snack on the go. This is the cheese of the month. Smoked Cajun. We'll try it in the taste test, so you'll get a better view of that. This is Matt's favorite bacon. He loves the center cut. It's also lower in fat, fun fact. These are our favorite shrimp, Argentinian red shrimp. They take on like a lobster flavor, so they're really good. And they're raw, peeled, and veined, so you don't have to do any work. We got two bunches of bananas because we've been eating them just <laughs> as they are, but also freezing the ripe ones for our smoothies. I got two more perfect bars. These are like candy to me. They're so good. Speaking of smoothies, we are trying out this tangerine juice. We will also try this in the taste test. Some green onions just to top on like the egg roll in a bowl and just every dish I feel like we put green onion on top. Some baby spinach. If we don't eat all this, then we'll just pop it in the freezer to also use in smoothies. It adds like a nice icy texture. A papaya, my favorite, favorite, favorite fruit first thing in the morning. It's that <laughs> papaya, as we call it. As you can notice, we pronounce all the vegetables and fruits wrong on purpose, so we're not uneducated in it. It's just something that we think is funny, even though it's probably not, but you know what? <laughs> we think it is. Avocados, some jalapenos, some papayas. We got some apples. These are delicious with almond butter or with Greek yogurt. I bought more of that. Oh, yeah. Bought some Greek yogurt. And the Trader Joe's doesn't have a good um, sweetened vanilla kind that doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. So what I do is buy the regular Greek yogurt and then I sweeten it by adding just a few drops of stevia. And it's really good to dip apples in. Then we got some of these tortilla, some cacao powder for baking. I've been really, really, really into making like healthy desserts um, with like mashed bananas. And then I also got, where is it? Some coconut sugar. It's less refined sugar. I got some garbanzo beans. I make a dish where it's gonna be like a Indian curry, vegetarian. I made it before, but I don't know if I filmed it. I might've actually, I think I did film it. it has a bunch of vegetables in it. You just put any marsala sauce on it. I used to get the one from Whole Foods, but this is the one they have at Trader Joe's. And then what we do is we put it over rice that we cook in the Trader Joe's coconut milk. It's so good. It's a coconut curry, vegetarian, delicious. 
These are also crack, so if you've had Takis before, I've actually never had Takis before, but these are delicious. Got some colossal, oh my, that's intense. Thank you. <laughs> Matt picked out some colossal olives for our martinis because we love martinis. Martins. Mar yeah, we call them Martins. The more I say them out loud, I'm just like, what the heck. This is a new for us vegan chicken lettuce seasoning salt. I feel like it's gonna take on like the flavor of chicken ramen, the packet. So I feel like this would be good on a lot of things. I'll figure it out, I'm not sure. I've never tried it. Another great sauce that we always have, Green Dragon. Delicious, try it if you haven't. Our tried and true coconut aminos. This is the best price I've found for coconut aminos. It's like a great soy sauce alternate. Oh, another taste test product we are going to taste test are these crispy crunchy mochi rice nuggets. How cute, are the little guys playing in the band? And we love mochi ice cream, so it says this is like the same materi material, <laughs> consistency. Oh, Matt got some sourdough bread that he's taste testing right now. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good? Pretty good. He like barely tasted it, but okay. <laughs> Classic. Um, these are my favorite refried beans. The only ingredients are beans. Some more everything but the bagel seasoning. I wanted to try that uh, instant coffee, like the foam coffee where you whip the coffee in it. I don't know, I think it's like Greek coffee. I don't, I don't really know. I saw it on TikTok, so I'm gonna try it. Wow, forgot that was glass. Definitely thought that was plastic. And just slammed it down. Another new item, these are like tahini based sweet treats. Cocoa vanilla, I don't know. So these Bomba snacks, we've never actually tried these. Mostly because I feel like we're gonna be in love with them and obsessed with them, so that's why I never bought them. But we will be trying these also. Our tried and true, never fail, crisp breads. These are also delicious, we love Dolmas. These are really good ones, and fun fact, they're vegan, if that matters to you, but they're delicious. I got this wine that we're gonna try in the taste test as well. It's a Sauvignon Blanc, and it was like five bucks, so it was on display. So I figured, I don't know if it's new or not, but we're gonna try it out. That's too close to the edge, it gives me anxiety. Um, got some broccoli, some avocados, teeny tiny avocados. This Rizzoni we love, it's the chickpea and red lentil Rizzoni. We use this in our jambalaya with our shrimp and our andouille chicken sausage. Try it out, it's delicious. Um, I don't know if we, if I showed that in a video. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. These crunchy red dragon fruit chips sound interesting and the only ingredients are red dragon. This is more almond milks for our smoothies we've been loving. Um, these are new, I've never tried them, but I was looking at the macros and they're, I think this, <laughs> you're taking pictures of yourself. <laughs> um, the serving size is four for 50 calories. So I feel like these would be really good in the air fryer just when I'm craving some like Chinese food or something. This is Matt's favorite cheese that he likes to put on his eggs. This is peppered salami that we like to use on our cheese boards. Um, an onion, this is our favorite cheese. We wanna get like little cheese board stuff. These lentils are delicious. We just open them and keep them in a Tupperware in our fridge and then honestly just like snack on them. These are amazing for, if you have a sweet tooth, the vanilla flavored baton wafer cookies. Two pieces, 120 calories. They're really delicious. Another thing, refried beans. Matt's sourdough that he already broke into. Um, so frozen stuff, we got two things of dark cherries. Can you put these away? Things of dark cherries for smoothies. We're gonna get a chocolate protein powder. We currently only have the vanilla one, but it's still really good with just vanilla. But we wanna do like a chocolate cherry thing. Some more strawberries, green beans. These are awesome, this huge bag is only $1.99 and they're just a great staple. They're like the long French green beans. So they look fancy. Our favorite rice cauliflower, stir fry, and then mashed cauliflower. This is like amazing orange chicken whenever you're craving Chinese food. It's not the best for you, obviously, but it's it's what we're getting. Just being transparent. They're new as well. We've had the chicken soup dumplings before, but never the pork and ginger. So we'll try those out. We got two. The, I mean, I know we're gonna like them. Um, so, and then the last couple things, these soft licorice, apparently these taste way better than Twizzlers. This 100% dark chocolate, there's like no sugar in it at all. 
and I got this because I feel like I just know Matt's gonna hate it and it's gonna be really funny watching him um, eat it. <laughs> This uh, is really random. Soft nougat peanut butter and dark chocolate. I don't know, it's kind of soft. I've never actually had anything like this before. But I figured we'd try it out in the taste test. So, again, a little overview of everything. Okay, focus. A little overview of everything. If you guys are interested, check out that taste test. I think it'll be funny. Matt and I are going to have some wine and taste some food and just tell you guys what we think. Well, I'm going to tell them. Oh, we'll tell you what we think. So, I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe if you never want to miss a video with um, us. And I will catch you on my next one. Bye!